the curse of Macbeth. Macbeth, Macbeth. Macbeth is known for being more than just a Shakespearean play. It has a bizarre and dangerous past that haunts it since its premiere back in the 1600s. Macbeth has certainly had its fair share of mishaps. Theater manager Lillian Bayliss died on the night of the dress rehearsal of the Old Vic's 1937 production starring Laurence Olivier. A falling stage weight just missed landing on Olivier. Then the director and the actress playing Lady Macbeth were involved in a car crash. I love this legend, it's so fun. The play's opening was postponed, and on its first night, Bayliss's portrait fell off the theater wall. They used real weapons, and one flew into the audience, giving someone a heart attack. In 1942, three actors died during the run of Piccadilly Theater's version starring John Gilgood. The costume designer committed suicide. What? I actually know this, and one of my teachers in Stratford actually. They were putting on the performance of Macbeth, I think, a couple years ago, <laughs> and uh, they read a passage from the Bible before they actually started doing the show, so it would kind of cancel out any creepy that would happen. The Curse of the Polish King's Tomb. In 1973, a group of archaeologists opened the tomb of the 15th century Polish King Casimir IV, Jaggi Gelin in Krakow, Poland. As with the opening of King Tut's tomb 50 years before, European media hyped up the event and the researchers involved allegedly joked that they were just risking a curse on the tomb by opening it. When some of the team members began to die shortly after, some media outlets speculated it was due to a curse. <laughs> of course it was. Of, cur of course it was. The screaming Skull. The Burton Agnes Hall in Burton Agnes, England is home to a creepy paranormal object called the Screaming Skull. The Screaming Skull is believed to be of Catherine Ann Griffin, who died in the same house after being attacked by bullies in 1620, though I actually believe it was robbers. Every night, a terrifying ghost is seen roaming around the skull, making tremendous noises and scaring out everyone who tried to remove the skull from the house. I actually know about this one too, and her, she asked her sisters to put her skull in the house so that she could always be with it, and then they didn't, and then all hell broke loose, so keep that skull there. Hey everyone, it's Rachel Fisher back again with Top 10 Central Dark, and today we are talking about our Top 10 Scary Curses That You Definitely Should Avoid, because um... They're bad and they're scary, so mm, run away. Anyways, let's get started. The Annabelle doll. The discovery of this doll dates back to the 1970s when a mother bought it from an antique shop as a birthday gift for her daughter. Soon the family noticed strange things happening inside the house related to the doll. The family then called for the help of renowned psychic investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren, who found that the doll possesses the spirit of a seven year old girl named Annabelle Higgins, who was brutally murdered. The doll is now in the Occult Museum, Connecticut. And it's creepy. Never buy a doll for your kid. It's probably haunted. Just saying. The eyes. I don't like the eyes. The Hope Diamond Curse. The Hope Diamond is one of the most famous jewels in the world with ownership records dating back almost four centuries. Its much admired rare blue color is due to trace amounts of boron atoms. Weighing 45 carats, its exceptional size has revealed new findings about the formation of diamonds. In 1666, Jean Baptiste Tavernier stole 115.16 carat blue diamond eye from a statue of the Hindu goddess Sita. Devotees of the temple were far from impressed. In retaliation, they placed a curse on whoever possessed the gem, supposedly launching a series of unfortunate events that would impress Lemony Snicket. Thank you for going there. Named the Tavernier Bleu, the diamond was later recut, birthing numerous other jewels, including the infamous Hope Diamond. Still want to wear it though. Still want it. Looks like the diamond that Rose lost on the Titanic. For the curse of Tippecanoe, in the mid 20th century, US media began to note a pattern in presidential deaths. Starting with William Henry Harrison and ending with John F. Kennedy, every 20 years the country elected a president who would die in office. In the 1930s, Ripley's Believe It or Not claimed the pattern was due to the curse of Shawnee Chief Tecumseh placed on Harrison and future presidents after Harrison's troops defeated Tecumseh at the Battle of Tippecanoe in 1811. Ooh, okay, well, you know, fair enough. They were awful to them. 
the anguished man painting and I also was just writing about this one so try and find the video. Fascinated by the charm of the anguished man painting, Sean Robinson inherited the painting from his grandmother and decided to hang the painting on the wall of his house. Soon after that, Sean and his family started experiencing paranormal events like cracking of the doors in the middle of the night and sudden blood curdling screams from nowhere. Sean's wife decided to investigate the origin of the painting and found that the artist who painted the painting committed suicide and before doing that he mixed his own blood with the paint that he used in making the painting. Learning this, the couple decided to hide the painting in the basement of their house in Cumbria. Ooh. So, ew, gross. King Tut's curse. The curse of the pharaohs or the mummy's curse is a curse alleged to be cast upon anyone who disturbs the mummy of an ancient Egyptian, especially a pharaoh. This curse, which does not differentiate between thieves and archaeologists, is claimed to cause bad luck, illness, or death. In February 1923, a British archaeological team opened the tomb of Tutankhamun, or King Tut, an Egyptian pharaoh during the 14th century BC. Two months later, when the team's sponsor died from a bacterial infection, British newspapers claimed without evidence that he died because of King Tut's curse. Ooh, spooky. The Billy Goat Curse on the Chicago Cubs, okay. The curse of the Billy Goat was a sports related curse that was supposedly placed on the Chicago Cubs, a major league baseball franchise in 1945 by Billy Goat Tavern owner William Cianis. The curse lasted 71 years from 1945 to 2016. His pet goat, named Murphy, was bothering other fans. Cianis was asked to leave Wrigley Field, the Cubs home ballpark, during game four of the 1945 World Series. Outraged, Cianis allegedly declared, them Cubs, they ain't gonna win no more. Which had been interpreted to mean that the Cubs would never win another National League pennant, at least for the remainder of Cianis' life. Sports. Cursed Mirror. Myrtle's Plantation in Louisiana, USA is said to be one of the most haunted places in the world. However, the most spooky item in the house is a mirror. Locals claim that the mirror is cursed and has the spirits of Sarah Woodruff and her two children who were poisoned by their slave Chloe trapped inside it. I know this story. Wow, I love when everything comes together. And that was our top 10 scary curses that you should avoid and hopefully you've all avoided them. Don't, don't. Go near them, don't touch them, don't dig up bodies and then be like, oh, we're gonna open it and maybe it's cursed. Don't do that, just don't do that. Don't buy secondhand dolls. Okay, maybe do that because then otherwise it'll go, for, go to waste. But like, just know that it might be haunted, okay? That's my warning for today, all right? And until then guys, take care. Stay scared. Starting with one and then working our way up. Okay, this one's fun. All right, number one. In February 1923, a British archaeology. Wow. In February 2019. Oh God. Number two. The curse. The curse of po The curse. Oh no. Let's see the picture. Let's see it. Let's see. Is oh no. Oh, we lost it. Where are we going? In 1973. In 1973, a group of archaeologists. Oh my God. Casimir the Fourth. Jaggy. I'm not gonna say that. No, we're not gonna do that. I didn't know what, I don't want that, know what that word is, okay? The stone originated from the collar mine, Guntar Antar Pradet. You guys are the worst. It's like, what? I don't even know. I don't know. Welcome correction. Somebody correct me. Wow. Guntar Antra Par Andhra Pradesh. Okay. What is with the words? Cool. Hey, Oh, and. Thank you.